A new thin film of quantum dots covers glass and transforms windows into solar panels. The dots have a lifespan of 14 years and right now they're trying to raise their energy conversion efficiency from 1.9% to a more practical 6%. And Kangoro is a bio-humanoid robot from the University of Tokyo that cools itself by sweating. Vsauce, Kevin here. This is Mind Blow. <music> Colonel is developing a memory prosthesis. The new company has invested $100 million to further over two decades of neuroprosthetic research by biomedical engineer Theodore Berger. While company founder Brian Johnson has long-term science fiction goals like the ability to download knowledge or exchange memories, the current plan is to help people suffering from memory disorders. For instance, using an algorithm to instruct electrodes involved in long-term memory to restore the circuitry in people suffering from Alzheimer's. Boosting brains to learn a thousand times faster what happens sometime down the road. A new hybrid power fabric uses solar as well as mechanical movement to harness power. Solar cells are made into micro cable structures and woven with nano generators to create the smart fabric. Not only does it charge using ambient light, but the mechanical movement allows wind and human motion to gather energy. And researchers from the Georgia Institute of Technology say the fabric could be used in tents, wearable garments like scarves or curtains. Navdi is like projecting your smartphone onto your windshield. The head-up display is the world's first augmented driving device that allows GPS navigation and phone access without taking your eyes off the road. The steering wheel dial allows for scrolling through or skipping songs and zooming in and out of the map, while gesture controls handle accepting and dismissing phone calls. And after beginning pre-orders two years ago, they just started shipping this week. A brain implant allows you to feel with a robotic hand. Neuroengineers at the University of Pittsburgh used magnetic resonance imaging to map the regions of the patient's brain associated with imagining a touch on different parts of the hand. After getting used to the system, the patient could recognize the location of the touches on the robotic hand with 100% accuracy. But it's still very early on in its proof of principle stage. Sundrop is the world's first farm growing vegetables in the desert using seawater. 15,000 tons of tomatoes a year are now being grown in Australia using 23,000 mirrors that generate solar power and seawater from the Spencer Gulf. The solar power is used to desalinate or remove the salt from the seawater to create fresh water for the crops. And they're now planning to create these farms in Portugal and the United States. These e-paper displays are like reusable digital post-it notes. Microsoft Research developed the display to run on office lights using a solar panel on the back. It can communicate with other e-paper displays via Bluetooth, they can be updated with an app, and have a sticky back to attach to stuff easily. Right now, this is just a prototype and isn't commercially available yet. Drones can be charged in mid-air using technology from Nikola Tesla. Scientists from Imperial College London used inductive coupling demonstrated by Tesla which allows for wireless exchange of power between copper coils. They're about a year away from making this commercially available and say that this technology could also be used in healthcare devices as well as interplanetary missions. Finally, Stanford engineers have developed gecko-inspired grippers to grab and move space debris. I've learned from gecko lizards to make small adhesive grippers that adhere to smooth surfaces such as solar panels and fuel tanks with really little attachment and detachment effort. Similar functions have been achieved with the curved gripper. Little attachment force, strong grip, and clean detachment. I'm going to leave you with a body movement activated mid-air display. And as always, thanks for watching. There are those who say today, that opportunities have ceased to exist. Things are finished. We have everything and not enough. For years, the oil men cursed gasoline. It was a troublesome byproduct, and they dumped millions of gallons of it into the rivers and streams. Then, 
Science discovered that gasoline was liquid horsepower. In any one of thousands of test tubes of today, there may be a million job opportunities for tomorrow. And the industrial scientists and engineers are the pioneers of present day America. The creators of progress, of new industries and new jobs. It's a bewildering future, all right. Not because there are no new frontiers, but progress. Hey, I have a couple of really cool announcements. First of all, I made a series with Google Arts and Culture called Hyper History. It's a super quick look at really fascinating things throughout history, including topics from duck-billed platypuses to the missing link. So click here or click the link at the top of this video's description to watch all five episodes. That's five more episodes of me talking about stuff that you should really check out. Also, curiosity box number one is almost gone forever. Hang on. Oh, it's heavy, because it's full of awesome, great stuff. But like I said, there's only a couple of days left to go until this baby is gone forever and you can no longer get all of the exclusive items available like this great Vsauce t-shirt of a deep sea diver climbing a tree pointing at the Vsauce constellation. This actually glows in the dark. It's ridiculously cool. So. If you want to get in on the ground floor of the curiosity box you have to order right now okay like like right now like curiositybox.com you have to go there in order right now like after i say the word now <laughs>